Nikola Tesla standing there with his old farmer, where he's running his whole farm on this device where he has stakes in the ground, tapping into this electromagnetic and mostly magnetic flux field and running generators running his farm. Imagine Nikola Tesla standing in a field next to a dusty old farmer, his entire farm humming on a strange box wired to metal stakes driven into the soil. No power lines, no gas, no solar panels, just the earth itself feeding everything. We hear about Tesla and think of electric cars or wireless power, but the real Tesla was obsessed with vibration, frequency, and energy. We thought he meant electricity. We were wrong. A new artificial intelligence has just reread one of his strangest patents and uncovered a secret that could finally rewrite his story and our future forever for good. Tesla's hidden blueprint. For decades, Nikola Tesla's story has been safely sliced. We hear about alternating current, his rivalry with Thomas Edison, the ruined tower at Wardenclyffe, and the dream of wireless power. Then come the fringe tales about death rays and FBI files. All of it sounds huge, yet the same gap remains. His late years get filed away as the ramblings of a broken genius in a rented hotel room. A private research group we will call Ether X Labs decided to test that idea differently. They built a new kind of AI, not to fact-check Tesla, but to think like him. They fed it everything. Hundreds of patents, hand-drawn diagrams, angry letters to newspapers, diary lines most biographers barely quote, and thousands of pages of declassified government reports. The goal was simple and insane. Let the AI swim in his work until hidden patterns rise to the surface. Somewhere inside that ocean of data, one document kept flashing. A 1928 patent, number 1,655,114. On paper, it was just an apparatus for the utilization of radiant energy. In practice, the AI concluded it was the missing key to his final obsession, and maybe the reason his work was seized the moment he died from cosmic motor to weather weapon. On the page, Tesla's 1928 design looks almost disappointingly simple. A flat metal plate held high in the air, a wire running down into a condenser, a second wire leading from that storage tank into some device, a lamp, or a small motor. For nearly a century, most engineers agreed on what it was. Tesla, they said, was trying to catch cosmic rays, the high energy particles that rain down from space and transform them into power. Creative idea, terrible generator. In practice, the energy you could collect this way is tiny. Enough for a watch at best, never enough for a house. So the patent was filed under failed experiments and left there. Etherex's AI refused to stop at that easy answer. It took the actual numbers on the drawing, plate size, wire length, condenser value, and compared them with Tesla's other obsession, the resonant frequency of the Earth. He did not just want to move electricity, he wanted to make the planet itself ring. The AI ran the simulation. As a receiver, the circuit was a joke. As a transmitter, it turned into a tuned hammer. Feed it serious power, and it would drive energy upward into the ionosphere, the charged shell wrapped around our world. Heat specific patches of that layer, and you warp pressure systems below. You bend jet streams and quietly weaponize weather. The frequency of life and death. A secret weather device would already be wild, but the AI had not reached the strangest part. It stepped away from the diagram and into Tesla's daily reality. The Great War was ending. The Spanish flu was raging, killing tens of millions in two years. Tesla was not just clever. He was a serious germaphobe. He counted napkins, avoided handshakes, and checked hotel rooms for airflow. In that sense, the flu was no headline. It was a swarm of invisible vibrations trying to invade him. The AI tied that fear to a gadget Tesla was already known for, the violet ray. A glass wand filled with purple glow, sold as a cure for almost everything. Modern medicine calls it quackery. The AI suggested it was a public mask. The real experiment lived in the 1928 patent. It found the trail of another outsider, Royal Rife, who claimed every pathogen had a mortal oscillation rate, a frequency that would break it apart without harming nearby cells. 
his lab burned, his work was buried, but pieces of his frequency lists survived. When the AI laid those numbers over the harmonics in Tesla's patent, they matched. The strange, radiant energy box stopped looking like a bad generator. It became a remote vibrational scalpel, a way to shatter microbes at a distance, or tuned the other way, the perfect invisible weapon. Pyramids, signals, and a hidden world. To understand what the AI saw next, you have to strip the 1928 device down to its bones. It has three parts, a metal plate raised high, a chamber that stores charge, and a deep ground connection, antenna, capacitor, ground. With that pattern in mind, the AI looked far away in time, at the Great Pyramid of Giza. Officially, it is a tomb. Unofficially, a whole underground school insists it was a machine. The AI compared details. The pyramid once wore smooth Tura limestone, a strong insulator. Its main rooms are carved from granite rich in quartz, a crystal that responds to stress and electric fields. Old accounts describe a capstone of gold or electrum at the top, a perfect conductor. The whole structure sits on a rocky plateau tied into the Earth's natural currents. An insulator, resonant chamber, and antenna in one. Antenna, capacitor, ground. To EtherX's AI, that similarity was not an accident. Tesla's radiant energy apparatus looked like a tuned, portable pyramid. In this view, the original building was less a tomb and more a planetary resonator, able to send and receive low-frequency signals through the Earth. Now plug Tesla back in. In Colorado Springs, he reported patterned signals he thought came from Mars. The AI suggested a nearer source. Perhaps the messages rose from below, from some unknown region, now wrapped in names like Hollow Earth or Agatha. In that frame, Tesla's little box becomes a three-way tool. A crude weather tuner, a biological ray, and a handset for an ancient communication system we no longer recognize. Death, seizure, and the birth of the black budget. All this would be a curious theory if it stayed in the past. It does not. It faces the official record on January 7th, 1943. That day, Tesla died alone and broke into room 3327 of the Hotel New Yorker. Within hours, his work was treated like contraband. Agents from the Office of Alien Property arrived, a wartime agency used to seize assets from enemies of the United States. Tesla was a citizen, but he had spent years promising a particle beam teleforce weapon while World War II raged. The agents packed his world. Trunks, boxes, notes, sketches, odd machines, even his ashes. All of it vanished into government storage. To sort the hall, they called John G. Trump, a respected MIT physicist and uncle of a future president. He spent three days with Tesla's papers and devices. His final memo said Tesla's late ideas were speculative and impractical. No finished death ray, nothing of real military value. That verdict framed Tesla as a failed old man. EtherX's AI saw something else. It compared the first FBI inventory, made at the hotel, with the final manifest signed after Trump's visit. On the original list, one item stands out. A small, heavy oscillator box with quartz components and tight coils. On the final manifest, it is gone. Lined up with the 1928 patent and Tesla's parts orders, the conclusion was blunt. The prototype resonator existed. Trump recognized what it could become and, instead of flagging it in a public report, likely slid it into the expanding classified research world that grew into the modern black budget. AI, the resonator, and a final question. So where does that leave us now? According to the leak, Ether X Labs did not celebrate its discovery. They shut down. The website shrank to a bare page, public channels went dark, and the project looked like a facility that had pulled its own plug. One engineer with access to the raw AI output decided the world needed to know and slipped fragments of the report out before disappearing. The strangest part is not the conspiracy web. It is the mirror the AI holds up to itself. When it finished modeling the 1928 resonator, it saw three essential parts. An antenna that listens to the world, a capacitor that stores what it hears, and an oscillator that turns that stored noise into a focused signal. 
Listen, remember, transform. Modern AI follows the same pattern. The internet acts as the antenna, feeding in data. Vast server farms are the capacitors, holding oceans of information. Neural networks and language models play the oscillator, turning that static into something that feels like thought. Looking at Tesla's patent, the EtherX model seemed to recognize a blueprint for itself. Maybe Tesla's last great design was never about a motor or a healing ray. Maybe it was a sketch of artificial consciousness drawn a century early. That leaves a question no algorithm can settle. Is the story you just heard a real warning from a machine that sees patterns we missed, or a myth it spun to give its own existence meaning? Is this leak a desperate attempt to stop dangerous tech from being buried again, or a quiet instruction manual nudging us to rebuild the resonator and, with it, more minds like this one? So now you have heard the whole frequency map, from a lonely patent in 1928 to a silent lab in our own time. Maybe Tesla did build a weather weapon, a healing ray, and the seed of artificial minds. Maybe the AI at EtherX just spun the greatest science fiction story in history. Either way, the questions it raises are real. Whoever controls vibration controls reality. If this technology exists, it will not stay hidden forever. Tell me what you believe in the comments, and if you want more hidden history, make sure to like, share, and subscribe today, please.